Hello and welcome to episode 36 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Exciting times for Eggy Milana Vickery, although he doesn't look too happy in that picture there as Inter Milan, his new side crashed out of the Italian Cup against Udinese. It was a difficult one, it was a difficult one. Hey, he did get a goal in the second leg, although I'm informed it's not a two-leg affair at the Cup, so I've got that set up wrong, but it doesn't matter because we're out of that now. And uh, this episode is going to have to be a quick one. I am very, very busy. This is going to be a, I don't know, more like a scrambled eggy or just the yolk. I don't know. It's going to be shorter than usual. I think we'll just play the two games. Frosinone in the league away and then Real Madrid at home. Ho, ho, ho. Real Madrid in the Champions League knockout stages at the San Siro. It doesn't get any bigger than that. Will we still be in the side? Well, we're on 40% manager trust. But we are starting today's game. Now, a lot of you... Had some real issues with some of my pronunciation in the last episode. Thank you, I guess. Thank you. Um, so I was saying, Juan Mario, someone... Oh, I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, I'm in a real rush. I would look up your name, but you were Portuguese and you uh, informed me how badly I was pronouncing it. I think you pronounced the J, don't you? So is it Jao, Juo, Juau, Ju... We'll call him Mario. We'll just call him Super Mario, shall we? That's what we do on this channel when we can't pronounce things, like Matty in Master League. And then Handanovic. I was getting Handanovic right at some points. I don't know why I started saying Handanovic. I know Handanovic. Uh, I'm going to call him Mark Brandanowitz instead. little reference there. little Parks and Rec reference. Uh, Icardi in today up top. Uh, Eggy on a yellow arrow. Got nine Golan behind us. Brozovic, Balde. It's a great side. How will we do against Frosinone? They don't look to be a very good side. They're playing five at the back. Got a decent looking keeper. He is their best player. Let's see if we can continue into Milan's dominance in Serie A. Let's get into it. So someone made a very good point in the uh, comments of the last episode. In Serie A, we're definitely not going to be able to hold the ball as long. I think that is going to be an adaptation we need to make to Eggy's game. Maybe not against Frosinone, but against the bigger size. They're going to have big, strong players. It's a physical league. A league traditionally known for solid defences as well. So Eggy is going to have to learn to, uh, yeah, not just rely on his pace to beat players. Also be a bit smarter with the passing. Uh, but against Frosinone today, I think we should be able to, uh, yeah, express ourselves. Hopefully get on the score sheet for our first goal in Serie A. Corner here for Frosinone. The first of the game, only three minutes in. The home side putting the pressure on. It's a good header away. And Eggy can pick it up. It's a decent touch. Oh, that's a poor ball, though. We lose possession straight away, but Eggy has won it back and then loses it again. No, Perica away from his man and shoots wide. Eggy with two instant mistakes there. It's a poor pass. And even after intercepting the ball, he was caught in possession again. It's not good. He doesn't look confident. More good play here from Frosinone as Ariado gets a load of space here to put a ball in. The overhead kick is blazed over the bar. But it's been all Frosinone so far into Milan. Still yet to create a chance. Oh, we get it away. And now a chance to hit them on the break. Eggy turns away from Capuano really well. He slips through Perisic here. He's into the box. What will we do? He cuts it back and finds no one at all. That's awful. Oh, you're kidding me. And Frozen only take the lead. It's a great finish. Did not see that one coming. Thought we dealt with this here. That's really nicely worked. Lovely ball out to Casata. Opens up his body, beats Handanovic, and we're behind. Nicely worked here. Now Perisic. Eggy's pulled away. Lovely turn of pace there. Gets the shot off. That might be the first shot of the game for Inter Milan. It shows how badly we've been doing. Nine goal and into Eggy. Gets the header on. Mario back into Eggy. Can he get the shot off? It's well blocked by Capuano. Trying to play our way back into this. We need a goal before the half, really. Eggy, little back heel into Mario. Mario ball over the top looking for Riccardi. Lovely touch. He'll hit the effort. And it's saved. A few good chances in a row there. Inter Milan have been shot into action by the goal. Oh, Perica is on side here. Half time nearly upon us. Will he get a shot off here? Handanovic saves with the legs. And that is going to be half time here. And we are not looking confident. I don't know what it is. Eggy seems to be a bad luck charm. We did manage two shots on target in the end. I think both of them might have been Eggies. But it was the one great finish from the uh, Frozen only striker that sees them ahead. We're not looking great here. There's a lot of work to be done in the changing room. 
surely it can't be difficult to motivate this side. Top of Serie A. Can't be giving away points, though. Come on. Good ball into Eggy. Finds Mario and Icardi. Eggy's made a great run here. Throw on goal. Can he open the scoring here? Opens up his body. It's a great save. That should have been a goal. Oh. Icardi, lovely header into Eggy. Takes it on the run. Pushes it wide now. Perisic looks for Eggy again. He will just about get to this. Can he get a ball into the box? Looks to hold up his man. Plays it back simply to Perisic. It's not the best ball in, but Baldi will take it down. Turns. It's the shot off, but it's a very easy save. Well won back there. And now Icardi. Eggy wants it down the line. It's a great ball into him. Surely. Oh, that's great defending. Oh, no. How did he get to that? Mario into Eggy. Looks to find Icardi here. His effort is blocked. Come on, we're pushing. But Eggy should have taken that opportunity when it came up. Ball in, looking for Icardi. He gets the flick on into Eggy. Oof, he's fouled there as the pass isn't released. Now Perisic. Low ball in. No. Just can't find that final ball. Eggy wants it here, edge of the box. Turns nicely. Get out the bloody way. No, no, shit. Oh, no. Santos is through here. Through on a Handanovic's goal. He fires wide. Eggy will be substituted here. It's really unfortunate. We had chances in this one. Yes, Icardi. Finally, the captain comes up with the goods right at the death here. And Perisic finds him with a great ball. And Icardi wasn't going to miss that one. He's not had many chances in this game in centre forward. But given one of that quality, he certainly wasn't going to miss. The Frozenoni defender looking tired there. He's the wrong goal. What a finish that is. Probably too late for us to scramble the three points, but at least we got the one. At least we got the draw. Well, it's not ideal, but in the 91st minute, we grab what could be an important point. We don't want to let our rivals get too close to us. I mean, in the end, we should have won it. Six shots on target. Frozenoni with only the one shot on target, and it was all it was needed. And a 4.5 from Eggy. He is really struggling to adapt to this new formation, adapt to Italian football. Did manage two shots on target. Lost the ball quite a lot. Maybe that was the problem. Three passes misplaced. It's a bit harsh. But there were a couple of chances we should have taken. One of them pretty much a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. It's not good enough. And unfortunately, it makes it very unlikely that we're going to play against Real Madrid. Still a 12-point lead. It's a decent lead, but we don't want to be dropping many more points. We don't want to let them back in. And a 5.3 average rating, three appearances, one goal. Struggling a little bit. I think it's safe to say. Very unlikely we'll start against Real Madrid, which is a shame. It's a showpiece game. This is why we came for Champions League football. And we're not in the squad. We're not even in the squad. Wow. That is a big call from Spalletti. He's not been pleased with the first few performances from Eggy Milano Vicri. I can understand. He's not been good enough. He's not looked up to scratch. It's a nil-nil in the first leg in Italy. Wow. I mean, we've got a battle now. Our manager trust level's actually gone down. We're at 39%. We started at 40. We've played three games. We've gone down 1%. It's not good. Really isn't good. We're going to have to fight our way off the bench. We're going to have to... Uh... Oh, no. We're starting against Sassuolo. Okay. This has to be a big performance. This can be nothing less than a six or above. We need to score goals. Uh, no Icardi today. Eggy on a downward arrow alongside Mario. Latoro Martinez up front. Everyone else looking pretty similar. Three very tired defenders as well. Sassuolo, it's a good side actually. They've got some good players. Babacar, one of the top scorers in Serie A this season. A decent looking back line as well. They are 12th in the league, so they're not they're, you know mid-table. It's probably what they would expect. Yeah, I reckon this could be a tough one at the San Siro, but Eggy does get handed a start now. Right, we've got to make this count. So some of you may have noticed that Eggy has been handed the famous number seven shirt at Inter Milan. I don't know who's played there at Inter, but obviously players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Cantona, Raul, Figo have all played as number sevens. Eggy is just the next one, and he's struggling a little bit to live up to those big names so far. Needs a big game today. Oh, it's a big header on from Babacar. And now Raspadori has played through. No one's with him. Checks back, looking for options. Someone get a tackle in. Someone get a tackle in. No. Oof. And Danovic gets to it easily. Eggy, nice ball out there. Finds Balde. And now we can bomb on. Martinez lays it off. 
Eggie's made a good run here. It's a lovely ball into him. Takes it down. Oh, and the shot is blocked. Really nice pass into him there and a great take as well. He can't have thought that was going to come to him until the very last second. So many defenders looked like they would get to it. In the end, he took it down well, got the shot off. It was an important block. Free kick opportunity here. Sassuolo put it into the box. Dealt with well. Now Eggy. Oh, looks for Martinez. Just about gets the return. Has he got the legs to get there ahead of Locatelli? Steps back. Back to Laura Martinez. No. That wasn't good. We didn't quite have the legs. It's going away from the defender. Oh, Eggy finds a way through. Can't find Martinez with the right ball, but he will get a chance here. And the low shot is saved at the near post. It's all very tight in there. Sassuolo packing the box with men. Iggy squirms away. Just about finds Martinez. We wanted it first time there. Martinez just moved it on. Iggy with a tight angle. Couldn't find it. Awful half. Another awful half of football for Inter Milan and for Iggy Milan victory. Two shots. One of them was Eggies, but we've been very, very poor again. I mean, look at that. We've already misplaced six passes. We've had two shots. We're not looking good. We're, we're trying too hard. That might be the problem. Eggy, ball out to Balde. This is better here from Inter Milan. Go short. Mario. Ball outside. Lovely ball into Eggy. Can he square it and find Martinez? No, that's a really poor ball. It's just not clicking for him yet. In the black and blue. Martinez now. Into Eggy. He can push it wide to Perisic. He can find Loratoro Martinez. He's got Lemos with him. Cuts back, gets the shot away, and the rebound goes wide, well wide. Eggy wasn't going to be able to get to that. Eggy, nice little flick into Martinez. And now he can play him through. That ball's got a lot on it, but Martinez should get there. Eggy's making a good late run. Wants the ball in, first time, gets the effort off. It's a good save, surely the rebound is there. Yes, and Balde gets the first goal here. Good work from Eggy in the build-up. Challenged the keeper with the shot. Had to palm it back into a dangerous area. Eggy breaking his balls to get in the box. Difficult angle again for him. It fell to Baldi. He wasn't going to miss that one. Eggy involved. I don't know how many more minutes he'll get without a goal or an assist. But he seems to be doing okay. Almost anything over a five would be great right now. So opportunity here. Oh, and Eggy is off. Oh, for fuck's sake, 66 minutes. He's replaced by Valero. And it's going to be another 4.5 or a 5. And Handanovic saves. We're really struggling. Eggy is really finding it difficult to adapt to life at Inter Milan. Got to stick with it, though. Got to keep working. He's never been shy of that. Things are looking difficult so far. How much time is Spalletti going to give us as Valero? Very nearly doubles our lead. Oh, and Perisic. Gets the second here with a very well taken free kick. It's Balde who steps over and he's leathered that one. Okay, should be the three points now at least. And that's the third that will seal it here in the very final seconds of this game. And although Eggy, well, he didn't really manage to get any crucial intervention in the game. No assists and no goals. I do feel he played well, at least we can say now four games in. that Eggy has actually been in a winning Inter Milan side starting at the San Siro. That's a positive. I really fear, though, 5.5. I mean, that's that is an improvement. God, I mean, we were thinking at PSV that we could look maybe for a 7 rating for the whole season. And now Eggy's scraping to even make it to a 6. A 6 would be lovely at this point. But no doubt about it, Eggy is having a tough time. But there we are. Inter, still top of the league. A winner's medal, still a possibility. And we're still on 39% manager trust. Fucking hell. It's going to be a long old season, or a long old half a season if we keep playing like this. Well, I think we will play one more game. We'll play the Empoli game. We're on the bench, so we'll just see if we can come on and make a difference. Let's get into it. So we're back to this, are we? We're back to this part of Become a Legend where we have to fight tooth and nail to get into the side. We were given chances at the beginning, and we very much failed to take them. Oh, look at that. Coming out of the floor at the San Siro. That is classy, isn't it? Eggy is going to have to watch from the bench. Can he get a chance in this game? Can he make a contribution? Well, so far it's been very difficult. We need to make that change quickly. And it is Brozovic who gets our first goal of the day. Nicely worked. Close play in the box. Nine Golan. Just spots him there. Lovely back heel. And it's a good finish. Thank you very much. 
Oh, and there's the second for Riccardi. Inter Milan having absolutely no problems with Leggy out of the side. Is he the problem? I don't know. I don't think we've been that bad. But, well, we haven't contributed much, let's be honest. And it's a third here for the captain and Inter Milan. Now just in cruise mode. No problems at all. And it's very fancy. Very fancy. And <laughs> a lovely finish as well. And Eggy can only watch on. This is not ideal. Oh, and Brozovic makes it four in the first half. Obviously, we're playing well. This does not bode well for Eggy, though. Unlikely to see him get more than about 10 minutes in this game, which is the equivalent of about 30 seconds. Oh, well, we can't argue. We are in the winning side that we want to be in, and we'll get there. Eventually, we'll get there. Maybe not this season, by the looks of it. But he's going to keep working. We know that much. Oh, and it's a hat-trick for Riccardi. Very simple there. The defence, nowhere to be seen. And this game is, well, it was over in the first half. But now it's double over. Come on, let Eggy have a run out now. It's the perfect time to get his confidence up. So, Eggy on the pitch now. What can he do? He can misplace his first fucking pass. That is not good. Not good at all. Got about 20 minutes to try and impress. It's not the start we needed. Perisic. Can Akadi find Eggy here? No! <laughs> what is that? Just nothing going right. He just needed a simple tap into the path of Baldi. And he's so far misplaced two passes. And that should have been at least an assist there. Oh, Eggy can't even make a fucking tackle. Oh, and he's given away a corner. Trying to help. Trying to get involved. It's just not working. It's just not working for Eggy at the moment. This was the perfect game to come on and score a goal. We've been absolutely dominant. And the woes continue for Eggy. That was the perfect time to get on. 25 minutes against an Empoli team who looked completely at sea. And I think we misplaced all of our passes. I don't think we did a single thing right. Had a chance for an assist with Balde. Fucked that up. Chances on the break. Just couldn't take them. It's a five. Oh my god. This is really going from bad to worse. I mean, I don't think... Is it? Gonna, is our manager trust level going to go down? I don't even care about the league. Oh, 39% still. 5.3 average rating over five games. This is not the start that we hoped for. Not even close. In the next game against Napoli, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't make it into the side. We are in the starting lineup for that one. Well, this has to be the time where we come in and perform. To be honest, our form hasn't been great. It's, it's a sideways arrow. Cardi on the bench. Martinez gets the start. It's a big game against Napoli. Then Real Madrid and then AC Milan. It's a very big three games in a row in the next episode. But God, we were poor today. Let's forget about this episode, shall we? Let's forget it ever happened. I'll see you in a bit.